everybody, welcome to my video today, you guys. I wanna share with you the Memories and More product in the Occasions catalog. This is our um, product that is for memory keeping. It is for pocketed memory keeping, or you can see you can do traditional stuff. And so I ordered this when I first did my pre-order way back in, I think I got this in November when I went to On Stage. It was one of the items that you could get. And I set it aside and I really had some reservations about it because it is meant to look watercolored and then the the color in here is black gray and pink and i just wasn't sure it would be something that i would use so i dove into it in january and you guys i love love these cards i ended up purchasing another set and today we're not going to be doing memory keeping today we're going to be doing a set of cards and i really loved this and got all of this product out and thought that these would be beautiful to uh, make a, a set of cards. So we're going to make three cards. I'm going to make all three with you. And then I'm also decorating a box to go in uh, for us to put the cards in. And I'm just using one of our acetate box. Um, boxes that we had in the holiday catalog. These are not in the occasions catalog, but they did carry over. So you can still purchase these. I'm planning on purchasing quite a bit over the next few months just to stock up on these because I love them and I think that they are so useful for so many different things. So let's dive in. Um, here is the product and what I've done is I've used the cards, I've cut them up, we're layering them. And so I grabbed a piece of basic black cardstock, uh, basic gray, and then the pink that's in here is powder pink. So those are the card bases we're gonna have and some of the layering items. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is here's the product here in the occasions catalog and it also coordinates with the, if you turn the page one page back we have some designer paper a stamp set um, some items that are going to coordinate really well with this product and it's uh turned into one of my favorite designer papers for this catalog is this black and white paper again i it is meant to look more watercolored you can see that there's some faded places and i thought that that was much when i was looking at the photos in the catalog i thought it came out much more faded when i got this paper it actually was more beautiful than i originally thought and now you can see how much of this i have because i keep buying it um, and then i also did my entire february project life foundation pages and my title page is all done in this paper so hopefully if I can get my title page done for project life my project life album I'll show you that at the end um, of the week so let's get started because there's three cards that we're going to put together and I want to show you all three so for this one we're starting with eight and a half by eleven cardstock we're cutting that in half and that's going to give us a four and a quarter by five and a half card to start with. Okay, so for this one, you're going to want your powder pink card stock. You're going to cut that in half and then you'll save the other half to be able to chop up to do layers for another card. Okay, so I have an envelope here because I'm going to show you how I decorated the envelope as well. All right, to make these three cards, what you're going to want to start with is a piece of basic gray the ba a piece of bl basic black and then a piece of powder pink and what you can do is cut all of those in half so you have this so you have your card bases because we'll have one card base in the powder pink one in the basic black and then one in the basic gray and then the other piece that is not a card base will be used to cut up and layer up and we'll be able to use that okay and then you'll need your cards so for the you'll need your memories and more cards and then I also used designer paper okay so these are just three cards you could make with this if you get those supplies the memory and more cards and a pack of designer paper you're going to be able to make a ton of more cards than what I show you today so for this first card you're going to need a piece of designer paper I'm going to give you the measurements for this you're going to need a piece of smoky slate or the basic gray. I kind of threw in some smoky slate just as another accent color, but you don't have to. And then you'll need these two cards. Well, these three cards. My framelit is attached to that so I can show you, but it's the card with the two birds and with the heart above it, okay? So let's get started by layering this together. 
So this is a piece of designer paper and it is cut at two and a half inches by five and a half inches. And this piece is gonna be layered right on our cardstock. This is a little bit larger than five and a half, but I'm gonna trim it down. And you could use either side. There's lots of different designs that you could use in the designer paper pack. Um, you can choose which ones, but this is the one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna line this up at the bottom and I'm leaving a little tiny bit of pink on the edge. So that's our first layer. Then what we're going to do is here's our gray layer and this is a smoky slate layer. It is cut at three and a half by four and a half. So then what we'll do is we'll take our card right here and we're going to do at four by three. Then you cut your, what I've done is I've cut these little birdies out. I've just used my stitched framelits here and cut them out. They kind of go off the page right here, but that's okay. You'll want the image like that. We'll take our enjoy the moments and we're just going to trim this piece out. You don't have to use your trimmer. You can just use scissors we'll cut right behind the enjoy and then you will flag the end. You're gonna take the other basic black cardstock that you have, and you're just going to create a border. So what I do is I just eyeball it. And you can see you could totally use the other side too. We do use the other side for a different card. So you have two of each designs in your memories and more packets. So you could, you'll be able to do that as well. So then save this little layer that we trimmed off because you might need it for something else. And then I just eyeball this. Okay, so let's put this card together. We will layer this black layer up onto the smoky slate. You could leave this striped piece a little bit larger if you wanted, but you don't have to. A three by four layer is a perfect layer to start with if you're layering up cards. You could pop this piece up if you wanted. I'm keeping it really simple and just laying them down flat because I wanna pop up this last piece. So now for this piece, we'll use some adhesive and pop it up. So this is card number one. Now let me show you how it turned out a little bit different the first one I made. So this one I left this layer a little bit larger and then I didn't layer the enjoy the moments all the way out. So you get two different looks, but basically the very same product. So then the envelope, I just took some of that designer paper and put it right on the flap. So you could do an envelope liner inside if you wanted for the next one. That is that card, so let's move on to our second card. Okay, for our second card, you're gonna grab your black card base. You're going to take this designer paper right here and you're gonna cut it at four by five and a quarter. Okay, that's gonna be a great layer. And then you're going to take some of your powder pink and you're gonna cut this piece at four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then you're gonna have this Project Life card right here. It's the best day ever. And then on the back is some pink. This is a three by four card and this is just gonna be layered together. So you can start by doing that. We'll fold our card base. We can layer together our designer paper. You could take a card front and you could cut the basic black at five and a half by four and a quarter and then you could attach that to a white card base um, or in the inside you can just stick a piece of whisper white card stock and cut that at four and a four by five and a quarter that'll give you a nice layer to be able to write on so then the very next thing we can do is just layer this now we're doing basically the same thing here we're just layering up some paper 
We're gonna lay this on this side because our last layer is gonna be the other side of that birdie card. So you'll have two of these. So what you'll do is just use that same framelit. I'm using a square stitched framelit. You'll cut it out and instead of using this side, we're just gonna do the very same thing and use the other side. So now you have this piece so we can just layer this right in the middle. You can pop that up if you want. Let's so use the some envelope. I did this side and this is the other card that I had made. So these turned out exactly the same. You can see I've gotten two cards now out of that and then I'll do my next envelope maybe with an envelope liner inside. Let's do our third card and then I will show you the box. The third card, we're gonna start out with a gray piece of cardstock. This is smoky slate, but you could use your basic gray. You're going to take some of that powder pink cardstock from our very first card, the other side. You're going to make the next layer for this card. You're going to do four by five and a quarter. And then you're going to take some designer paper and you're going to layer that. So we're gonna have three full layers, which is quite a bit of layers for me. But when you're working with these memory and more cards, I think the fun part of this is layering up these images because it makes it so easy for you to layer. It takes the guesswork out. So then we'll go ahead and layer this piece. I'm using a lot of adhesive today because I'm just feeling like I really want things to stick. Okay, so the card you're going to need is going to be this flower card. You're going to need this card right here and we're gonna cut it. And then you're going to need this card right here. And then the other things that I've done is I've taken a scalloped oval and then I've also cut the flower in an oval shape as well, and we're gonna layer those together. So we'll do that last, but what I wanna do is take this card. Now, I already have some left from the very first card that I did, so I don't need to cut my this card up again. So what I wanna do is layer this on here, just like this. And instead of cutting it first and layering it down, what I like to do is put a little bit of adhesive on here. I use my grid mat, and then I decide how much of the card and where I want it to be on here, and then I'll flip it over and cut it. That way you're not cutting first and then wishing you had more. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut this out, and what I can do is just the same thing I did before, cut this piece out, we cut it right behind the saying, and then I will flag the end of it. Okay, so now let's just cut our flower and then we'll layer everything together. So I have my flower here, we can layer this together. Layer that right in the middle and then we can take our life is good and layer that down. The other thing you can do is take your Wink Estella and add a little bit of glitter to this flower. And then the saying right here. So let me show you how this one turned out. This one I left a little bit more pink on the edge and then I layered this with a little bit left over pink cardstock. And then my envelope turned out like this. So this video is already pretty long, so let me just show you how the box turned out. We won't put the box together on camera. This is just a little band. You can slip it on and off. There's a little bit of ribbon on here. So what I did is I just took that little tiny layer. See, these are the cards you need. This one and this one. And then you need the You Are My Sunshine from down here. And then your little piece from this card that you snipped off here. There's a little tiny piece. So that's the little tiny piece that's down below. And then I used our shimmery black ribbon, which is gorgeous. And then you just layer that together. There's some designer paper from that paper pack. You wrap it all the way around the box. And then this just will slide on and off and then you slide your cards in this box will hold up to six cards so all six of those cards would go in you just have to make sure they go past the flap there at the bottom and then you have a beautiful gift box 
of cards to give uh, to a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you guys are planning on spending $100, around $100 with Stampin' Up!, it's a great time to join. So when you spend $99, you get $125 in product plus two additional stamp sets, and then your order ships to you for free. So anytime you're planning on spending around $100, it's a great chance to just join Stampin' Up!, get a discount on all your product, get your shipping for free, which is always nice, and get some additional product right now during celebrations. I appreciate you guys watching my video. I'll be back this week with new projects and fun to share with you guys. I hope you're having a great Monday and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.